As an immigrant entrepreneur, the, one of the hardest thing was self-doubt. Self-doubt. Am I the right person? Can I do this? It's a demon thought. That is very hard to overcome. I can only answer that question, right? I couldn't speak English. Everything was difficult. Hi, good to see you. I'm Seju Jung, co-founder CEO at Noom. Noom is a consumer-led healthcare company that we use behavior change to help our users master four pillars of exercise, diet, and stress management and sleep to build a holistic, healthy outcome. 2021, and we raised capital led by Silver Lake, a total of $540 million. We became the largest consumer-led digital healthcare company in the United States, and the company has been growing very fast with a lot of support from many users and we feel very thankful. I was raised in a small fish town, it's called Yosu, in South Korea. My father was a medical doctor. I thought I would become a doctor as well, and instead I became a doctor. I became an entrepreneur as I found a company at age 19. So in Korea, we all take an exam to enter the college at one day, and based on the result that we choose a path, which school, college we can enter. And I failed to enter medical college, unfortunately, but I entered pretty good school, I studied uh, electrical engineering, but electrical engineering was not my passion. So soon after I joined the school, I realized I'm not going to finish the school or drop out of college because it was not my choice. I didn't have real passion at there. My first business was a heavy metal record label, actually distribution company first, because I love heavy metal music quite a lot. Since I elementary school, I only listened to heavy metal music, death metal, black metal, like progressive metal, but metal music. The music has to be consumed by CD, cassette, or LP. So it was importing good. And and uh, I wanted to provide a service, and that was my first business. What I learned that I cannot build a business based on just my passion business, you know, it's my hobby. The first business did not answer my question that why I'm here in this planet in this time. I was looking for more deeper philosophical answer. That business could not answer. Second, Tam was small. South Korea total access market for heavy metal listeners are quite small. Heavy metal music is already kind of small. That's what I learned. So I need to start a business where the problem and opportunities are bigger. I was trying to like figure the place where I can start again. And I figured United States, the land of opportunity, the most richest country. I came to New York because internationally friendly. And also I figured New York City is quite far from South Korea. If things are not working well, unlike LA or Seattle or San Francisco where there are big Korean community, I thought it would be harder to compromise, settle with the Korean community. That's why I chose New York City. Everything was difficult, for sure. Everything was difficult. I couldn't speak English. I did not know any single human at there. I remember I stayed at home one week straight without talking to any human because nobody's calling me and uh, I didn't have any friend. So as an immigrant and I was nobody, that means I, can, I had to really be very extra nice to appeal myself and try to leave a good impression because otherwise they would not give me a chance. I rebuild my network and learn everything as an immigrant, fresh eyes, and they try to help me out. And that's the way I rebuild my network, but also build my self-confidence. My co-founder, Artem Parakov, he came from Ukraine when he was 13. And he went to school, Princeton University for computer science and theater major. My cousin went to the same school. And my cousin had like the dinner with a group of the alumni in Manhattan. And Artem was there. He and I, we got clicked from first day. And we, we met and two days after, we spoke until like 4 a.m. He was a tech lead at Google Map. And uh, he did a fantastic job for GeoSearch project. He didn't think about becoming an entrepreneur. But I think he's a wonderful entrepreneur, he himself. He always think about, how to improve better as a product person. I spent two years constantly, I pitched to him that you need to get out from Google, you yourself as a founder, and we can make a bigger impact in healthcare. Because think about healthcare, how bad it is. And unfortunately, in the United States, six or seven out of 10 are sick. We thought that is the area is less touched by Silicon Valley approach, which is problem solving approach. That story over my two years, he got convinced and he convinced his parents and he got out from Google. In the beginning, we raised capital from angel investors, from a lot of Googlers, Artem's friends, and my friends from Korea, my family invested in our company, angel investment. In Harlem office, that it was not an office, it was our apartment. We stayed together and we lived together there. Well, we actually had a lot of fun time at there because we were young and also we were mission-driven people. So we found the company and we built a lot of fitness-driven product, like a stationary bike, very similar to Peloton concept. That was our first prototype, but um, it took like two years to build. We pitched investors, but we could not raise capital. It was not a good product market by in 2008, nine. We had many ideas, but it was easier for us to convert stationary bike to smart bike. 
that's why we chose that path. But now from today's perspective, it was very cute the way we figured and actioned it, which we don't do that anymore from Noom. We test ideas before we built. We were very poor for years and years. We could not figure product market fits and we did not generate any revenue. So we were in a very difficult position that we could raise any dollar. So I put my own personal money by asking to my sisters, bros in Korea, my friends. So we ended up building an application because we didn't have money to buy any hardware by the time. And that was the right challenge for us because we, that's the way we explore the app business. We launched the first fitness driven product, Cardio Trainer, which was using smartphones, GPS, accelerometer to measure the sports activities such as cycling and running. And that was a mega hit. We actually achieved quite good success. We became number one at the market right away, achieved 5 million users within six months. And we were able to raise an institutional fund, the VC fund, Kleiner Perkins came to us and that's how we raised a seed Around, but we figured that the service is not answering our promise, which our company mission, that we were looking for more holistic outcome. And our users were looking for losing weight, not just becoming a fit. And that way we discovered we need to build a service for overall health, not only just fitness. So we had to sunset our product, Cardio Trainer. That was a very difficult decision, but we made a right decision. First project of Noom was we only provide AI service that we guide our users to how to manage your weight. That was our very first project in 2014. But we quickly learned with a human coach, providing holistic approach would deliver better outcome. So we relaunched the service in 2016 May, the current version of Noom that comes with a behavior change approach led by passionate health coach and provide a service that is mastering four pillars of diet, exercise, stress, and sleep management. Noom became a household brand in the United States as a change behavior platform. And we have changed the way over healthcare, uh, the view has been overly optimized for sick care, but we are trying to change the view to more preventative approach. We believe that we just built the foundation of the company can long last more than a century. So my co-founder, Artem Perakov, is a great teacher. He gave me a book as a friend before we found the company, Good to Great, written by Jim Collins and can be a good book that we can co-read together. And uh, we share our ideas. And we both love that book because that book is basically the author, Jim Collins. He figured all the references and examples from the company by research the company that exists more than 100 years, over a century. Isn't that amazing? So that really inspired us. We want to build a company, that long-lasting company, over a century, not a quick success. So we loved it. Most important, we love that the company mission driven and also companies constantly make sure that uh, the mission driven people are on the boat. That was the great like lesson we learned and we applied from day one. My version of good company, good, great company is good company is the company that produces an amazing service, but great company is durable growth company over years and years, hopefully more than a century. We hope Noom can last more than 100 years with a great brand name and reputation. And that is very difficult. That is a great company. Think about how many brands you can think of that exist more than 100 years. Not many. A lot of companies come and go, and we don't want to see that from Noom. Think about a lot of tech-driven startups. They are very good at zero to one. Many companies can do that. I mean, it's still hard, but people can do that, zero to one. We did it. Now, one to 100. That is another next level journey. That's very difficult. Everything is hard. Startup, everything is hard. Money, motivation, direction, roadmap. There's no such a thing I can answer. What is the hardest thing? Because everything is hard, to be honest. As an immigrant entrepreneur, the, one of the hardest thing was self-doubt. Self-doubt. Am I the right person? Can I do this? It's the most difficult emotional barrier. It's a demon thought. That is very hard to overcome. Can I do this? No one asked, but I asked myself, and no one can actually give a right answer. I can only answer that question, right? Mission-driven thinking, and always remind myself why I found the company. Why? Big why. Why I found the company. Myself, I was able to manage by actually working with the right people. I got a lot of support from my people. So they support me to stick with the company mission, and how thankful I am. And also, I built a very healthy habit since then. Wake up early, do exercise, and also keep thinking about the difficult part of the questions. I actually have seen a lot of the early stage startup entrepreneurs. They are not thinking hard. They think hard about product for sure, but they don't think about entrepreneurship oneself. That means their emotional roller coaster, their self-doubt. I don't think they really think hard about it and be honest about it. I recommend be honest to yourself and ask for help. Do not act like you're okay. Ask for help and also admit where you are not good at so you can actually provide a room Others can help you. Don't act like you know everything. And it's okay to be vulnerable. Strong, fearless leader. Wrong, wrong. 
that's not the right approach because you are breakable, then that's okay. Because startup is hard. Everybody knows that. It's okay to ask for help. As company has grown so much now, we have more than 3,000 full-time employees in the United States. So my role has been changed. In the beginning, obviously, I participated more and governed everywhere. But as company grew fast, I tried hard to delegate my work, to invite a better person, better executive than me, the domain expertise, give my work to them because they are better than me. And my job is constantly sponsoring them, remind our company mission, and based on mission, we align our company strategy, discuss the strategy, but operate by experienced seasoned executive for every department. That has been the major change in the evolution. We believe the timing was correct, that the people, consumers were seeking for how to get a smart, healthy lifestyle. And that is a trend. And the people are seeking for a service they can do by themselves, and they were looking for help. In my case, I'm not a serial entrepreneur, right? I've been doing it new for the last 16 years and will continue to do that. For me, entrepreneurship is the way I approach the problem of the society and the world, and uh, figure the problem by providing a better solution. By doing so, can contribute to the community to have a better, healthy your lifestyle. Noom help people's lives as many as we can by changing behavior. Our users were seeking, time was right, and that's why we were able to enter the hyper growth stage. I think luck is the necessity of the success, but I also I would say luck only arrives if you stick enough for one path for a long time. Basically you are making your own luck.